Pure OS is an operating system developed by a company known as Purism. Wanna know more about that? So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. When we log in into the system, the first thing we see is an empty desktop without any icons. They have maintained the new Linux theme of having an application panel. When we look around the application panel, we are not provided with too much stuff. It is a simple operating system which aims at the security of home users. The two main applications that attracted me are the Power Statistics and the Pure Browser. It is interesting to find an application that plots our battery usage in a form of graph and provides us with the statistics. Here, when we open the Power Statistics application, we can get the statistics of the battery usage and it's worth mentioning that we can change the graph type as well. Look, we can change the graph type. The next application which attracted me in an instance would be the native pure browser which is built on top of the Mozilla. It was similar to the native Mozilla browser but with some theme applied. Except these features, everything was similar to that of other Linux distros. Now let's take a general tour on this operating system. As I already said, we are not provided with too much add-ons or bloatware because Purism is completely concerned about the security of the home users. Yet we are provided with some general applications like Libre packages for the general usability. Now let's take a closer look at the terminal. The terminal present here is similar to that of the terminal present in other Linux distributions because this terminal is completely based on Debian. We can use commands like iwconfig to get the status and the availability of the network cards. Now let's look out for the GNOME version in this operating system. The GNOME version present here is 3.28.2, which is a quite bit faster and easy to use when compared to the previous versions. To conclude, this Linux distribution is easy to use and provides a lot of security and privacy to the home user. We would provide 4 out of 5 for the usability and 3.8 out of 5 for the performance.